I'm telling you, I didn't do anything wrong! You let her go, you villain! After that, we ate lunch together at a nearby restaurant. Scootaloo and Turnin really hit it off. Apple <laughs> Bloom! What? Come on! It was obvious you two really enjoyed each other's company. Only reason we stayed at that restaurant for so long was because y'all couldn't stop talking. Shut up! Defend me if you must. But just know that if I think things start to look bad, I won't hesitate to confess if it means saving her. No! You're innocent too! You can't throw your life away just for me turning! I won't let you! The... the scooter! It was stuck on something! Do you remember what it was? I wasn't sure who it was at the time. But now that I've seen his picture... I know... It was... Turning Paige's dad. Thanks to what we've just heard, I figured it out. The answer to the question that's been at the center of everything. You mean, the question of who killed Royal Order? Who? There's only one pony who could've. And that's the son of the victim himself. Turning Paige! Mom? Yes, Turning? I... I... I want you to have this. You... had that back then, didn't you? What is it? It's... a gift. From a really important friend of mine. She gave it to me. To make sure that, no matter what happens, I stay strong. So I want you to have it now. I shouldn't tell him. He probably has too much on his plate. Yeah, this was a bad idea. I should just go before some pony sees me. Scootaloo? I thought I heard some pony at our door. What are you doing here at this hour? Miss Devotion? I thought you'd been taken away already. Uh, I mean, sorry, I shouldn't have assumed. It's all right. I've still got some time before I'm formally sentenced. But the police have placed a tracking spell on me, so I can't leave unnoticed. I'm just grateful they've allowed me to be on bail, though. It means I can spend some time with my son before... Well, anyhow... <clears throat> is there something I can help you with? Right. Uh... I was just wondering... Is... Turning still hope? He is. I'm guessing you want to see him. Um... Yes, please. Let me call him down for you then. Turning! You have a visitor! Oh, hey! Scootaloo! What's up? Hi, Turning! Um... How are you? Me? I'm good, I guess. I'm just packing up my things. I really don't know how Mom manages to fit anything in our suitcases. They're so small. How are you, really? I... um... I'm fine, really. Ernie, come on. I know you better than that. You're not fine, are you? You're right. Right now, I'm worried, to be honest. Worried about this new school I'm going to. Why? Is it bad? I don't think so. Princess Luna said it's pretty good. And Mom, you know, she's a teacher. So she knew a little about it. But it's just... I'll have to start my schooling all over again. And it was already bad enough the first time around. It was always so boring. All that studying and stuff. And the teachers were just the worst. 
I heard that, mister. Those are my colleagues you're talking about. Uh, sorry, Mon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get ya. I wouldn't want to start my education over either. So, it's going to be new then. Like, really new. Yeah. At another school. In another town. Away from Ponyville. And away from... From every pony. Well, maybe that's what you need, you know? Start fresh, let yourself move on and all. Maybe forget all about... Who am I kidding? Neither of us are ever going to forget what happened. How can we? After everything! After every pony did everything they could to save us. To save him. The thing is... I don't think I want to try and forget. Huh? What do you mean? Even though everything that happened was... Well... Dark, to put it mildly, it has taught me a lot. I saw what lengths a pony could go to, just to protect those they care about. I saw that with Mom, Mr. I, Miss Stamp, Miss Sykes, even Sweetie Belle, now that I think about it. <laughs> uh, how are you getting along with every pony, by the way? You and your friends, the Crusaders. We're not doing great, all thanks to Sweetie Belle. You shouldn't hold it against her. She was only trying to protect you. A lot of good that did, huh? Anyway, what I meant was that I saw a lot of ponies being brave, being courageous, even when they knew the truth, and that showed me what being brave is really about. It's not about being able to swing a sword and defeat any enemy. It's when you know you can't succeed at something before you begin it. But you begin anyway, and you see it through no matter what. You don't always win, but sometimes you do. And when you do, everything will have been worth it. That's true courage, Scootaloo. And I count myself lucky to have finally seen it for myself, despite everything. Anyway, thank you for coming to check up on me, Scootaloo. I really appreciate it. You're a great friend. Oh, a friend. Right. Well, you're welcome, I'm turning. Glad to see you're okay. I guess I'll head out now. Oh? All right. Uh, take care. True courage. Seeing things through, no matter what. I... I can't let this go. Not like this. Wait! Mm -hmm. What is it, Scootaloo? I... You talk about all these other ponies being brave turning, but... What about yourself? Uh... It's okay, Scootaloo. You don't have to lie for my sake. I know what I did was cowardly, and- It wasn't! And- Turn it all, I won't have you tell me you're a scary cat! You saved us from Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon, went into the Everfree with me, faced down Princess Luna without breaking a sweat, and when there was nowhere else to turn, you chose to put your faith in Athena. Even when doing so, meant revealing the truth about what happened to your dad. Don't you see? You're one of the bravest, coolest, most awesomest ponies I've ever met! And I've met Rainbow Dash! That's why I asked you for help! That's why I gave you that ribbon! And even though you gave it to your mom, the reason why I gave it to you in the first place is still the same. You're brave, Turning! You're beyond brave! And you inspire me with your bravery, which is why I... I... Scootaloo? I... 
I didn't come to your house tonight just to check up on you. I mean, I wanted to, for sure, but the truth is... I wanted to tell you that... that I like you. Like... me? As in, I like you! Like you. As more than just a friend. And I know you just see me as a friend, and that's cool, really. But hearing what you said about what true courage is, I realize I had to tell you that. Especially since you'll be going away. And after everything that's happened, after everything you've done for me, it... It didn't seem right not to tell you the truth. My truth. <sighs> so, yeah. I like you turning... A lot. I... I hope that's okay. Please say something at least. S sorry. I just... I... I've never had someone tell me that they felt that way about me before. Right. I figured. So I guess that means you think it's weird. But I'm flattered. And I don't think it's weird. Not at all. You don't? No. If anything, I think it's really admirable that you wanted to tell me that. But you're right. I... I don't feel that same way. I'm sorry. It's... It's okay, Turning. But... It isn't, though. How could it be? It hurts to hear, but... At least I know now. And honestly... It's... Kinda relieving to finally get that off my chest. I... No, you think I'm really brave, but that's not something I can be on my own. So many ponies throughout this entire case showed me what that word means, and that includes you, Scootaloo. What? Me? Turning, come on, I wasn't brave at all. But you were. You were just now. And you were throughout everything that happened to us. Every time some pony knocked you down, you got back up. You kept fighting and refused to give in, no matter the odds. You were and are one of the bravest ponies I've ever met, Scootaloo. And that's the truth. Thank you. So, about the school you're going to. Do they allow non-students to visit? I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I'd imagine so. Well, in that case, you should let me know when visitors are allowed. I'll book the first train there, I promise. <laughs> then I look forward to it. Anyway, uh, that's really everything I wanted to talk to you about. Good night, Turning. Wow, Turning. You really are... very brave. <laughs> that just comes from all the training I do. I used to be scared in these woods once too, you know? But I've since taught myself to never be afraid of anything. No matter who or what we find in there, we'll face it together. Thanks, Turning. Um, if you don't mind, would you take this? Hmm? Well, what's that? It's a ribbon. I got it from Rainbow Dash a while ago. It's supposed to represent the courage one has to do something awesome for yourself and your friends. To me, you represent everything that Ribbon stands for. So, as long as you don't forget it, I'll be fine standing by your side. Goodbye, Scootaloo.